Hello there. Today we're hiking the Madsen Hill Trail. It's a beautiful spring day and I had the trail all to myself. Life is good. So this is uh, primarily a mountain biking trail. It does get hiked by a lot of people as well. But it's a quiet trail, except for the weekends. I love this trail for the solitude. It's just off Highway 94. Uh, the more popular trails in this area are the Lewis and Clark Trail and Klondike Park. So this is in between those two on 94. And uh, I prefer this on those days when I do want just some solitude. You don't get the spectacular bluff views of a river like you do in the other trails. Sorry, spider webs. First one on the trail today. <laughs> but uh, it's a gorgeous forest walk. I recommend it. So one of the things I enjoy most about making these videos, other than just the joy of being out here, is imagining that you're here with me, sharing in what we're seeing, what we're hearing. The birds are beautiful today. Unfortunately, I can never pass through the feel of the cool spring breeze I'm getting today, the smells of the flowers or the spice bush, but uh, 
it really does make it a lot of fun to make these videos, imagining you're here with me. Okay, so we've come to the end of the trail. I'd like to thank the Gateway Off-Road Cyclists for building and maintaining these trails here in the park. You guys do a great job. So this is the original trail for the park when it was only 68 acres in size. It's since grown to roughly 400 acres in size and roughly 10 miles of trails. They're all connected, so you could do a 10-mile hike out, out here. It's pretty easy to do. I would recommend, if you do that, parking at the Hayes Home Trailhead, which is at the other end of the park. You just have, you're kind of more in the middle of all the trails and uh, you have some facilities there. Plus you have uh, the historic home. Hayes was uh, Daniel Boone's grandson. I parked on the Matson Hill Road Trailhead just because it's nostalgic. So I hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.